Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. There we go, I finally set it correctly. May as well keep with the current pattern and uh, Fortress Tower, Weapons Plan. There we go. I was just reading the level names. And let's go with Sting Chameleon. Wank. Wank. I really like how they uh, redid his arms. Looks quite different in the 2D version. I'm beginning the mission. There we go. I changed which. Uh, my controller has two sets of shoulder buttons, so I changed which set the the emulator was wanting to latch onto the back shoulder buttons, which was throwing off the timing for my jumps. The back shoulder buttons are the Kind of like the GameCube shoulder buttons, where they have a variable press, and the front ones are just solid buttons. So a uh, little split second bit was throwing my aim. Right. Aha! I remember this. Jump up here, and thing. You just say hi, ya. You just. What are you, Blitzcrank? I found the source of Blitzcrank. For those that don't know, Blitzcrank is a League of Legends champion that is a robot that is known for that grabbing arm, pretty much like that. He doesn't jump, though. Nor does he pull himself. My aim is very bad, as you can tell. What the heck? Did you just hit yourself? Capsule. This one's actually in the ground. The arm parts await you here. Enter the capsule and equip them to your arm, and your charge shot becomes even more powerful. It is a very dangerous power to possess, but I trust that you will use it for good. I thought this is where I got the, the uh, body armor. Yeah, they changed some stuff between the original and this game. I could have swore I got the body armor here. Or I could just be that confused. Yeah, you usually don't get that till the end of the game. Sorry, I'm in the original. The plasma, I call it a plasma burst. I kind of like the changes they made to this, and I also dislike the changes. In the original, the uh, the rocks that fell would stay behind as cubes, and you could actually fill this area up and tunnel around in it. But the, the ones with robots in them weren't here, though, so that's an addition they made. Yeah, that gives me that ability early, then. Let's... I shall ride the penguin to safety. That didn't work. But yeah, usually you get that at the end of the game. Near the end of the game. The, the purple charge shot that lets you charge up your uh, alternate attacks, I mean. One complaint I have, I do have a slightly cheaper controller, it does wonderful, but there's times where when pressing left and right it thinks you're pressing up, or up left, up right, and it can cause it to get confused. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I was like, oh, you, you, you think you're getting in the robot? No, this is my robot. That was funny. Near. He's secretly a fox. He makes the fox noise. <laughs> Poor little ex. Everyone's betrayed you. Sting chameleon. So Sigma's even managed to pull you into his scheme. That's Master Sigma to you, X. He'll be king when the new world is born. Treat him with respect. I don't want to live in a world with him in charge. You know, I was gonna fight you with the X Buster, but for that attitude, I'm gonna burn your tree. Okay, I may be thinking of something. I could have swore he had a vulnerability to burning the tree down. Hmm. Who am I thinking? I could have swore there was one where you burn everything, and uh, yeah, I'm thinking of a different game probably. Near. I'm ready. I thought you were Sting Chameleon. Ooh. That hurt you a good bit, didn't it? Not quite what I wanted, but hey, if it hurts you, it hurts you. Will you shush? Uh, his tongue does more damage than I remember. Okay, I'm gonna have to play this the strategic one. remember him doing that. did that, but it worked. Lots of dashing. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Chameleon Sting. Chameleon Sting. The charged version of that turns you invincible for a uh, period of time. Also makes you turn rainbows of colors because chameleon. But that's Sting Chameleon. Next time, I'm gonna go with Spark Mandrel. Fun fact: when I first played this on the Super Nintendo when I was young, I had no idea that a mandrel was a type of monkey, and I had thought it had something because he has dr a drill arm. I thought it was a relation to him being a robotic man with a drill. <laughs> I now know that a mandrel's a type of monkey. But yes. I will see you next time.